This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Gran says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. School's a waste of time. Learn to shoot a gun instead. That's what I tell Gran. She says brains beat brawn every time. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Gran makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Goddamn quacks. I bet they still use leeches. I've never seen a leech, but Miss Katie told us about them. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Not this again. Just go back to playing with your dolls. Now I know why my dad says people from the outside are no good. Austin, don't you have to take him somewhere? Thanks a lot, mister. You scared the crap out of my friend. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? She's gone? Would you look at this place? How much would you pay to get him back? You can have my teddy bear. I've kind of outgrown him anyway. That's all? I can give you my kickball. I really like it. But I like Ashes better. Look, kid. Pay me what it's worth, or I'm not helping. You can have my silver locket. My mom gave it to me. I like it better than anything in the world. Except Ashes, of course. No, I haven't seen your cat. Would you go look for him? His name is Ashes. He's probably scared and lonely. If your cat's out in the Commonwealth, he's probably dead. Don't say that! It's not true! Now are you going to help me or not? Where do you think he may have gone? Not far. He'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide, You'll find him. I'll find him for you. Thank you! His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. You're still here? Hey, hold. So you're the new guy. I heard we let someone into the vault. How long do you plan on sticking around? That's none of your business. Yeah? Well, screw you too. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every stray traveler that comes our way. I hope you don't have anything that needs fixing. I really don't feel like working. Is that your pit boy? Better be. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days.
you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Every waking moment's an adventure out there. Oh my. I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Would you be willing to talk to my class? I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. Stop by whenever class is in session. I'll just stop what I'm doing and turn the class over to you. Poor Aaron. Her cat got loose in the Commonwealth. The work never ends in Bolt 81. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Tell me your symptoms. Took a few bad hits recently. Got knocked around. Huh. You look fine, but... Oh, wait. Yep, that's gonna need to be set back in place. Let's get started. All done. Any other complaints? No other complaints. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? I'm looking forward to what you'll have to say. Katie. I can't wait to see how excited the kids will be. The children will be very excited to hear about the Commonwealth. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? I might, for some caps. All right. The overseer did give me a few caps for this. How does 50 caps sound? That hardly seems enough. Hmm. I suppose I can use the rest of my allotment. I can give you 100 caps. You'll have to do better than that to get your pound of flesh. You want to dicker about money? People's lives are at stake here. Either do it because it's the right thing to do, or I'll wait for the next Commonwealth visitor. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. Sit there. This'll only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. This will be a rare treat for the kids.
This will be a rare day indeed. Just hope the kids behave. Hello, Katie. This will be a rare day indeed. Just hope the kids behave. I can't believe he just ran off like that. Hello. Cool. An outsider in a vault suit. Grant says I'm a bottomless pit when it comes to food. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up! We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a Deathclaw? I did. With nothing more than a pistol and three bullets. Really? Raiders surrounded the museum where my friend Preston was holed up. I had to kill them all with my bare hands. Just your bare hands? Really? Preston was so scared, I had to finish off the rest of the raiders myself with just a pool cue. No way. Just a pool cue? When the Deathclaw crawled out, I grabbed one of the raiders' pistols, but it only had three bullets. I would have run away. One shot in each eye and one in the forehead took care of that Deathclaw. Wow. You must be a good shot. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. Nothing's happened to him.